Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and today I'm going to take you on a quick updated tour of my 2020 Spirit Deluxe Casita. Still loving it. I um, just have made a few changes over the years. A little on the outside first. I did upgrade to the 25 gallon freshwater tank. Some people worry that it takes all the storage, but I just want to show you there's still a little bit left. I did get the outdoor shower. It's great for washing things off, for bathing the dog and ladies. It sure beats trying to shave your legs in the tiny indoor shower. I also did get the high lift suspension package, the electric tongue jack, and the Anderson distribution hitch. No regrets there. Well, welcome to the inside of my casita named Gidget. I have lived in here for about two and a half years now, and I am a huge fan of the Spirit Deluxe model. I am one of those people who love to move things around, change things around all the time, and this floor plan is very versatile and accommodating for that. So if you are interested in the Spirit Deluxe, here's a quick tour of the interior, kind of how I have it set up and where I keep things. Just inside the front door beside the fire extinguisher, I keep a folding stool. I've added a command hook up here to hang things, and then over here tucked beside the door, I have the awning pole and the crank. Um, they do come with a little, I think, attachment that you can screw them up somewhere. I just tuck them in there and they stay fine. Added a couple command hooks on the closet door. And then this little pole I sold, I had bought for the refrigerator. I just shove my flip-flops and stuff up there. Keeps them off the floor and kind of out of the way. Now onto my closets. In the door, I keep things like sunscreen and bug spray. I usually keep my laundry detergent in there, but I'm out at the moment. And then here is my closet love this thing. So I had Katie's Closet added. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, but I love the closet and the people. Um, but this thing is fabulous. I can keep, uh, right now in there, I have 36 shirts, eight pants and jeans capris, six pair of shoes, some other little storage item, first aid kit, a scale, and then I still have room on the bottom where I usually keep my laundry baskets. So <laughs> love my Katie's Closet so much. It was the best thing that I could have done and added. And in the underneath hatch down here, I keep things that I don't get to that often. I've got some solar lights down here, zip ties, extra cords, extension cords, rope, a little bit of everything, but it's just stuff that I don't get to very often, but it's great having a place out of the way for this stuff. It's like a little bit of a garage. <laughs> I want to show you that I do hang stuff in here. It's summertime right now, so I don't have a lot hanging in here or coats and stuff like that, but there's plenty of space to put hanging stuff, and then you still can access all this extra space in your closet. I really love this. For such a small unit, I thought Casita did well utilizing the space. Um, it is a wet bath, so you do have the shower toilet combo, but they have some built in shelves up here in the 2020 model. You got the fan, you do have a sink in there, um, a nice window. So it, it's a small bathroom, but it works well. It's very efficient. In the bathroom, I also had Lewis from Katie's Closet add a shelf underneath the bathroom sink. It's a deep space, but having the shelf just helps you keep it better organized. I really like having it in there. It was a great addition for me. Here's the dining area, and I'll show you a little bit of what I keep in the cabinets. There's my mail holder, and then, you know, everybody knows what this is like. Really? Anyways, in my cabinets, the upper cabinets above the dinette, this, I keep groceries. Now, I am low on groceries, so there's not much in here. I keep some storage bags over here. Those are my fancy trash bags, y'all. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and then I also, in the one just to the left of that, I keep additional groceries over there. Again, I need to go to the store, but you can put a lot more stuff in there. And the dinette table does collapse down to make a small bed area here. My grandbabies love it. Also, at Christmas time, I'll take the back bed out and just sleep here so I can have a Christmas tree in the back. But it's versatile, and I like it. And I do like that there's extra storage under the seating of the dinette. For me, underneath here, I just keep my hair dryer, my curling iron, my makeup, all the stuff I use to get ready, extra storage for toilet paper. And because I'm a little bit of a minimalist now, it's not full, crammed, packed, but there is a lot more space to put stuff under here. And under this dinette seat, I have my vacuum cleaner, some cleaning supplies, and I have a bag of tools along with my drill and stuff. It's just a great place to keep it stored under here and out of the way. Right now, underneath the bed belongs to my fur baby because she's having some heart problems and may not be around longer, so that's her little comfy place. Normally, I'll store this rolling cart under the bed and extra water bottles and stuff, but right now, this is how I have it. 
And this is just an overview of the kitchen, which I love very much. Underneath the kitchen sink, I just store, I don't cook a lot, I just store some pots and pans, some plasticware, colander, that kind of thing. And then I use the little cutting board that fits in the sink down here. It just keeps things from moving around too much. And then the little door, I have a mini crock pot and a couple of Pyrex dishes. So I did get the furnace, which I absolutely love. It's great for boondocking. It heats it up quickly in here. Then above the furnace, you have a little drawer. I use it for the silverware drawer. You can put a lot more in it than I have in there, obviously, but I love it. And then I made a little cover for the water pump switch because I kept leaning on it or the grandbabies love to play. So I just Velcroed some stuff and stuck that on there to keep that from happening. You do have a small little sink area and the little rack in the back there was installed when I got it already. I do want to put like a backsplash back there, but haven't got to that particular thing yet. It's on the list though. And over the vent hood, I keep this little sign, which is multi-purpose because it also works as a wood block whenever I have the cabinet door open. Inside, you guys, I only have what I need and use. It's very minimal. I keep one little shaker, some plastic bags, paper plates, a bowl, and some of the items that are too tall to store in the other side. And like most people, I don't use this for my paper towels. I rigged up a not so pretty, but efficient little holder up top just to keep them up and out of the way and to not take up the space in the cabinet. And in the cabinet next door to that, I just keep some doggy treats, the dog medicine, some vitamins, a couple of little workout potion kind of things in here. Nothing super exciting. And under that is the microwave cabinet. And when you have the door open, you actually have a little bit of extra space. You can use the prep space if you want to. It's a small microwave and small cabinet, but it's efficient and it works for my needs. And underneath that you have your refrigerator, which for such a tiny camper, I think it's a pretty decent size refrigerator. Don't judge me, you know I said I need to go shop grocery shopping. Got a small freezer there, can't put a whole lot in there, but you do at least have a freezer. So it's not too bad, I think, for a small camper. Last but not least, I do have a two burner propane stove here in the kitchen. I light with a lighter. I don't cook a lot indoors, um, don't cook a lot outdoors either, but I do have it if, if I need to, and it has the splatter guard to keep the stuff off of the bed, so not bad. In the bedroom right now, I just have a twin mattress because I wanted to allow space for these uh, drawer units for some extra storage. Uh, Got to have a you know junk drawer. Who does not have or need a junk drawer, right? But I got this on Amazon. I'll put the link below. You can buy them other places. It's just extra storage. And then above um, in this cabinet, I just keep my undergarments and stuff. But the opening to this cabinet is very small. So you can't really put any containers in here to kind of hold this stuff in. So I do have little plaques hanging around. I just use little drapery hooks that you can buy on Amazon. I'll put the link below. Of course, there's my logo that you hear me say. And in this cabinet back here, it's one of the bigger cabinets. So I put the fluffier things, the towels. In the wintertime, I'll put blankets and things up there because they store so much better back here. And in this cabinet, I just keep some backup camera equipment. I keep a lot of maps and travel books and uh, state park guides, all that sort of thing. Just things to help me plan my trips. I did get the TV DVD combo. Don't watch a lot of TV, but for rainy days, it works fine. Um, and then this, I just use a fruit basket um, for the things like bread and chips that don't fit well in the cabinets. They don't store well. I have a little um, container underneath where I keep all the extra cords and charging cords and all that kind of fun stuff. Apple TV box attached over here. And I do have this small drawer cabinet on the other side of the bed. It's kind of a, a tool cabinet for lack of a better word. I have batteries and things in there as well, but I have a lot of tools and command stuff in here to hang things and um, just stuff that I would use out on the road that keeps them pretty handy at my fingertips. Something I highly recommend is a dehumidifier. I just use this Evadry. It just hangs inside and then when the crystals turn a different color, you take it outside, you plug it in and it basically replenishes it and you start over again. Love this thing. Now I know there's a lot of empty space in here in the cabinets and under the bed and all that and some would say it's not an efficient use of space but it's on purpose. When I first moved in, I had everything crammed full, but now I just have in here what I use and it works well for me. I'm not so attached to all the extra stuff because I don't need it. That concludes your little tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to always enjoy the little things and we'll see you next time.